Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are diving into something super practical for Windows administrators and power users, which is MSIX PowerShell commandlets. Now, if you are working with MSIX packages and need to know how to manage them efficiently with PowerShell, stick around. So let's get started. First up, let's talk about installing and removing MSIX packages. It's actually quite simple with PowerShell. To install an MSIX package, we can use the add app package commandlet, or actually this is an alias, the original one is add apex package, the path to your package. In this case, I have a sample MSIX, I'm just going to copy paste the path, and that will be pretty much it. Now if we hit enter, there you go, our application is now installed, and you can see it here my sample application uh, and the same for msx bundles so if you want to install an msx bundle use the same command only you will have the msx bundle extension here good now let's say you need to remove an msx package now here's how you can do that to remove an msx package you use the remove package commandlet which is the alias for remove apex package. Now you also have the minus package and here is, here is where it gets a little bit interesting. Now to remove an MSIX package, you need to know that the package name follows a specific format, something like vendor dot application name underscore version underscore build underscore hash, right? So for this, let's find out this particular sample application name that I've installed. I'm going to open another terminal here and I'm going to list all the packages, the get app package, or you can also use the get apex package commandlet. And usually it should be the last one. So let's see, yes, this is the one. And what you need is the package full name. So in this example, we have the vendor, the application name, underscore the version of the package, underscore the build, which is 64 bit, and underscore the hash. So if we want to remove it, we copy paste the package full name and we say remove app package. Or again, this is the alias, you can use the remove apex package minus package and the package full name and there you go this is how the package is removed now let's say you want to get information about a specific package you can use the get app package commandlet that i previously used to find out more about a single package right but if you know your package you can do something like this you can use get app package or get apex package at apex package and you can use minus name. Ah, and of course, you won't get anything because we just removed it. So you can install it again. And let's use the get app package. And here you go. You have all the information here. Or if you need to check for a specific user, you can use the get apex package and user. And here you will paste your domain and username. Of course, in this case it will fail, but you get the point. Now, by default, MSIX packages are installed in program files, Windows apps. But did you know you can change that? So, to manage volumes with MSIX packages, if you want to add a new Apex volume, you can use this particular commandlet, which I'm not going to run here now. However, keep in mind that if you use this commandlet, all the applications will be then installed in this specific location. It's not per application, it's a system-wide configuration that you are doing here. So once the volume is added, you can set the volume with set apex default volume E or whatever volume you want to do. And if you want to move packages to the new ones, you can actually use the move app package and whatever package you want to the new volume. Now. A while back, starting with Windows 10, and I think, I think it was build 21.354, MSIX introduced share containers, which let multiple MSIX packages share a common environment. 
and you can manage these shared containers with the new PowerShell command. To add a shared container, you can create an XML file with, with a list of packages. For example, your XML will look something like this. And if you want to add the shared package container, you can then run this command link here, which is add app shared package container and path to your XML file. This way you will install both the packages. You, do you want to remove a shared container? We can just use the remove app shared package container and whatever name you previously given it. It is just a small list of commandlets that are available. I'm going to point to a specific website in our comments. So please have a look over that. But that's it for today. And we had a small overview of the MSX PowerShell commandlets. And whether you're installing moving or managing shared containers, these commandlets make working with MSIX a lot easier. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tech tutorials.